Today, we have a really great tutorial. I was really excited making this. I'm so glad on like how it turned out. It's this bodycon with the slit dress and I think it's really cute. So if you wanna make it, I think it's pretty easy. You just need to like have a lot of body measurements as you go along. So it makes sure, so you make sure that it fits you well, okay? Some of the materials you will need is yarn. This is the Bernat like baby yarn, it's a size three or lightweight yarn. I use all of it. I'm not sure how many grams you're gonna need for this project, but you need a lot. And I used a 4.0 millimeter size hook. You're gonna need a tape measure, very important. You're gonna be measuring a lot. Some stitch markers, but I use bobby pins. And a pair of scissors, so. If you have any questions at all while you're making this dress, because like I messed up a little portion when I was making the pattern, but I tried to clear it up. But if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you. All the timestamps in the written pattern will also be below to like clarify some stuff. But I hope you guys have fun making this dress and let's get into the tutorial. We're gonna start off with a slip knot. So we're gonna take our yarn X it over, pinch that center point, right? Push our two fingers through and grab the longer piece of yarn. Pull it nice and tight, okay? And we're gonna start off with our foundation chain. This chain is gonna be the top of the dress, the part like right under your neck, right on top of your bust, right there. So for me, I'm gonna chain until I reach about 13 inches, okay? So you can take the measurement of how wide you want the top of your dress to be and chain that long, okay? So to chain, you're gonna go under, you're gonna pull this one through there. So that's one, under, grab two. As you go along, hold on to it. Under, grab three, four, five, six, look like this so i'm gonna keep chaining until it is a length of 13 inches and i'll let you know how many that is okay so i'm back with a chain that measures 13 inches and this is 55 for me okay so most of this dress like majority of this dress is gonna be double crochets so we're gonna look at our top and we're gonna skip this first chain and we're gonna go into the second one Okay, so first you want to yarn over like so, push into that second opening, grab your yarn on the other side, come back around, we have three, you want to yarn over and pull this loop only through those first two, like so, so through the first one, through the second one, and now you have two again, yarn over once again, and pull this one through those two like so. So that's your first double crochet. Going into this next one, we're gonna yarn over, push in, grab your yarn, come back, you have three, yarn over and pull this one through only the first two, like so. Yarn over once again and pull this one through those two, okay? So we're gonna keep doing this until we reach the end of the chain. It'll be into like something like that. Okay, so this is what your chain, your row one should be looking like. I'm about to finish row one, moving on to row two. So you wanna do your half double crochets all the way until you reach this last one right here. Okay. And then you want to chain three. So you're gonna yarn over, chain one, over two 
and three, okay? You're gonna flip your work this way. You're gonna look at the top. And you're gonna see these V's. So you wanna go through this first opening, counting one, two, three, ignoring those because that's the chains we just did. And this fourth opening, that's where we're gonna do our first half double crochet. So yarning over, pushing through right there, through both of the stitches of the V, grabbing the yarn on the other side, coming back, yarning over, pulling through the first two, and then the last two, okay? So we're gonna keep doing this half double crochet, like this. No, it's a double crochet, right? I know, sometimes I get a little confused. But we're gonna keep doing this back and forth, keeping it straight. So we're gonna um, double crochet our way all the way over here, chain three, come back around, chain three, and we're gonna keep doing this until it's a length that's long enough until it reaches like right before the smallest part of your waist. So for me, I'm about to do this for about six inches, and then we'll move on to the waist area. All right? Okay. I'll meet you like at the end on this side just to show you how to move on to the next row one more time then I will leave you to do all this work. <laughs> I'm back. I'm finishing off row two, about to move on to row three. I just want to show you how to, you know, go on to the next row. So we're going to keep doing our double crochets until we reach the last opening. So here's one. And then here is the last one. It's kind of like curved off to the side. Make sure you get that one too. Okay, so my last one going through here. You want to make sure when you go onto the side, you have both pieces of yarn attached. Okay, like so. And then you're going to chain three. So one two and three we're gonna flip our work once again and look at the top skip those three because that was the chain three we did and going into the first opening we're gonna do our double crochet so we're gonna keep doing this pattern of double crochets back and forth until this is long enough until it reaches like right above the smallest part of your waist all right, so I'm back and I've done the double crochets for about six inches and this is 13 rows. I'm on row 13, about to finish it. And right now it's a width of 14 inches. It stretched a little bit, but that's all good. So now we're gonna start the section that is above our waist. Like right now it should be, this should be placing like above your waist. So I can give you a little example okay so this section we just did should just be above right above the smallest part of our waist like around here because now we're going to begin to do increases all the way until it reaches the top of our lower back and then we're going to connect it to you know like cover the bum area so now we're gonna do about like three to three and a half inches, at least for me, yours might be more or less, of increases so it starts to stretch towards the back. Okay, so here I'm coming to a close end for row 14. I'm gonna do my next um, increase, okay? So I'm gonna do my double crochets all the way until this last one, right? That last opening right there. So first, just a, no a normal double crochet and then we're gonna go in again and do one more into that exact same hole like so okay so there's two double crochets in the last stitch on either side and we're gonna keep doing that if you're following my pattern exactly we're gonna keep doing that for three to three and a half inches and I'll be back to give you some new measurements and then we'll move on to like the next section. So I'll be right back. 
All right, guys, so here I'm back. I can zoom you out a little, a little bit, right? You can see everything that's going on, but we've been increasing for about three inches now. Increases started here, here I mean, here? It's about here, three inches. And now I'm gonna do the last increase and for in total, Measuring from the top to the bottom, it's eight and a half inches. So this next section we're going to be working on is going to be up until the 11 inch mark. All right, so that's one, two, two and a half inches that we got left to do. So I'll show you what we'll be doing for two and a half inches, all right? For this next two and a half inches, we're going to be increasing even more before we connect ourselves to like the back part where our butt will be covered. <laughs> Right here is our last one, and we're gonna place a second double crochet right here. We're gonna chain three. And now to start off this row, we're gonna put an increase of three. We're gonna do three double crochets in the start and end of every row. So going in here, we're gonna do our first double crochet, our second one into the same opening, and then a third one right into that same opening. Yes, quite a lot, but we want this to stretch out a little bit more. So three double crochets into that first opening. And then we're gonna continue doing our normal double crochets all across here. We're gonna keep doing this for two and a half inches, okay? So, we're gonna go all the way until we reach this side. And at this last one, again, we're gonna do three double crochets into the last opening, which will be right here. Three double crochets into this last opening. Imagine it, one, two, three. I'm gonna chain three and then we'll do three again. I'll, I'll just come back and show you, but okay. Continue doing this. All right, so I'm back. This is the, the top of the dress is upside down. It would go that way. But just to give you some measurements, now we're measuring a length for a total of 11 inches, okay? And right now, I'm about to like move on to the section where you connect it with the back piece. We're gonna chain a bunch so we can connect it. But right now, after I do this last increase, I'm gonna say this is about 22 inches okay and so when i place this against myself the area where i want it to land is a total of 29 inches okay so i'm going to take this 22 and subtract it from 29 to get eight inches so after i do this 
we're gonna chain eight inches at least this is for me you have to measure it against yourself and then we're gonna connect them in the back okay so right here I'm gonna do the last three increase at the end okay so that is it finished off we're gonna chain until we have those eight inches all right it's gonna chain one two like that three four five six like so all the way until this is eight inches so i'm back right now and i'm totaling on this side about eight inches worth of a chain okay and now we're going to connect this side onto this corner so all you have to do i'm going to flip this around to make it easier for myself but all you have to do is take this chain and connect it to this bottom corner down here okay here where you see the last v right there i'm gonna push through both of them like so i'm gonna grab i'm gonna yarn over pull this one through and pull it through here like so so now we're connected and we're gonna chain three so one two three and now i'm gonna flip our work again because now to do the skirt portion, you're gonna wanna work back this way. We're not gonna continue this way because you want the pattern to stay this um, back and forthness. If you don't, if you go this way, it's gonna end up looking different, the bottom section. So now we're gonna end up doing a whole row of normal half double crochets. It's gonna yarn over, go into that first V. tricky pull through two and then pull through two okay and then it'll begin to look like this so continue all across here doing double crochets and i'll meet you near here to show you how to do the next row Okay, so now we're here. I'm coming to a close end to connect ourselves to this area. All right, so I'll quickly show you how to do that. So I have two more double crochets left. So I'm going to go ahead and do this one. And then for the last one that you would do, okay, we're going to use this last one to connect ourselves to this row over here. All you're going to want to do is yarn over. Go into this entrance, grab the yarn on the other side, come back, and we have three loops, okay? Then we're going to look at this piece, and we're going to see this V right here. I'm going to push our hook through, grab the yarn on the other side, pull it back, and now we have four. We're going to pull this one through two, like so. Then we're going to yarn over and pull through these two okay now we're connected and now we're going to slip stitch ourselves into the second one so pushing our hook through right here grabbing the yarn and slip stitching we're going to chain three one two three and then we're going to begin doing our half our double crochets back along this way so flipping our work i'm going to yarn over go into this first opening and do our first double crochet okay so one thing I like to mention is just pausing that for a sec right now all right guys I'm sorry for the little confusion this is the finished dress but I slightly messed up the pattern when I was filming this video so right here is where we are. We just finished this first row in the video, right? With no increases, just one normal double crochet into each opening. 
And we're gonna wanna continue that until we reach a total of two inches. Just coming here, going back and forth, double crochet, chain three, come back around, chain three, come back around, until it's a total of two inches, no increases, all right? After that is where we're gonna wanna begin to increase on the side for our hips areas. So I'm sorry if this is confusing. If you need any help, please leave me a comment and I'll get back to you. But the section after this where I show you how to mark off where to increase on the sides, use that for um, after when you do your two inches of no increase and then down here will begin to increase, okay? Hope this is clear, I'm sorry again. So right now, this is measuring about 29 inches in width, and we're going to want this dress to flare out at the bottom so it's able to fit our hips, right? So for me, right here is 29, and the widest part of me is 36 inches. I'm going to be increasing twice so this is wide enough until I reach the 36 inch mark. So for you, this might be a little different. If it's wider, I would say add um, maybe three increases each row and if it's narrower I would say maybe just add one increase okay so for me I'm gonna do it like this so I'm gonna lay my work as flat as I can and I'm gonna look at both sides of the corner take a bobby pin and mark it off right here go on the other side bobby pin it off mark it off right here so these two points is where we're gonna do the increase so I'm gonna come here I'm gonna continue doing my double crochets and right here when I get to this point I'll show you how I do my increases okay so right here to do our increase where we have our stitch marker I'm gonna double crochet until I'm at this point and I'm gonna do two double crochets into this exact opening so going in doing one double crochet and yarning over and going into that exact same opening i'm going to place a second double crochet so that's our increase and then i'm going to keep doing one double crochet into each of the other openings all the way until i reach this other stitch marker so i'm going to do one double crochet into each stitch all the way until I reach here and I'll meet you back to show you how to do a second increase for this row. So here I am, I'm about to do my second increase. So once again, I'm gonna double crochet my way all the way until I reach the stitch marker, which is right there. And I'm gonna place two double crochets into that exact opening, so that's one. And then a second one right there, the same opening. That is the increase. Now we're gonna continue with just one double crochet in each opening all the way, oops, all the way until we reach the other increase on the other side, okay? So I'm gonna keep going all across here and I'll meet you here to show you how to connect yourself to this row again and how to work your way back this way. Okay, so here I am once again. I'm about to connect these two rows and move on to the next row. So um, do your half, your double crochets all the way until you have one stitch left. All right, so here I am with this one left. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna yarn over, push through, Grab the yarn on the other side, come back, and we have three. And we're not going to complete this. We're going to look at this next row. Look at the top, and we're going to look for the first V, which for me is right here. You can see it. Right there is my first V, so I'm going to go through both of them like so. Grab the yarn on the other side, come back around. I'm going to take this loop and pull it through those two. Like so. Yarn over and pull through these two now i'm going to do a slip stitch i'm gonna look here skipping this one i'm going right here i'm gonna push through grab the yarn 
and slip stitch. Okay, then we're gonna chain three, one, two, three, flip our work. And we're gonna begin doing our double crochets this way. So going into this first opening with the first double crochet, And then going onwards, going to here and continuing our normal double crochet. So again, we're going to keep doing this for about six inches or until this bottom section is your desired width. And remember to increase twice, to increase once on this side and once here. When you reach this area, it doesn't have to be, your increase doesn't have to be exactly in the same spot as long as it's near here where you place two double crochets and somewhere near this area where you put two double crochets, all right? So I'm going to keep going and I'll meet you back after I've completed six inches and I'll come back with some measurements. All right, guys, so I'm back with a lot of the dress. It took me a while and... I just want to mention that I kind of gave some like off calculations in the last one because our increases, I remember I told you to increase for like six inches, at least if you were following my pattern, but at the end of it, like I kept trying the dress on and like figuring stuff out and I realized it was going to be too short. So I went for nine inches and this is what she's looking like. This is the back. And now we're about to do the slit. So I tried this on oh, this camera angle. I'm sorry. It's just because like this is so big right now. But I tried this on and I measured out where I wanted my slit to be. So I marked it off right here. And I'm going to show you how we're going to do this. Okay. So in the back, I just chained one. And we're going to cut it off. If we don't need that anymore. We're going to restart somewhere else. I have one little knot for security measures. But so this row, the next row I was going to do is about to go this way, coming towards here. So for this slit, I'm going to take our yarn do, 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 and zoom you in a little bit now. Right here, you see, is where I marked it off. So I'm going to go to the space right next to it. I'm not going to go exactly into that one. We're going to leave that one open for when we come back. So I'm going to attach myself by pulling the thread through like so. We're going to attach by doing a double knot. One, two, and now I'm going to push through that same opening grab our yarn, come back, and just chain one, two, and three. All right, and now we're gonna begin doing our half double crochets this way, but on either side of this decrease, now we're gonna like begin to decrease. Wow. On either side of this slit, we're gonna begin to decrease a bit. So how you do that is I'm gonna yarn over, Go into that hole that we attached ourselves to. Grab the yarn, other side, come back. And we have three loops, right? Go into this next opening. Grab the yarn, other side, come back. And now we have four. Gonna yarn over, pull through three. Yarn over, pull through two. Okay? Okay. And we're gonna continue doing our double crochets all across here. Continue to do your increase on either side. We're going to continue these increases again for about another two inches, at least for me. When I try this dress on, I still needed to get just a little, a little bit wider for like another two inches. So I'm going to keep um, increasing over here and decreasing for the slit right here. So let me finish doing double crochets while increasing, increasing, and then I'll show you how to decrease on this side and then come back around. Okay, so now I'm back on this side, reaching close to our stitch marker. So what you're gonna want is you're gonna need 
two spaces including this spot so one two free I need two spaces free to do the decrease so I have one more normal double crochet and then to make this clear I'm just gonna remove the stitch marker you won't really need it anymore because you'll be able to see where like the slit is you want to yarn over go into the first opening grab the yarn on the other side come back go into the second opening grab the yarn on the other side come back yarn over and pull through three so one two three yarn over pull through two okay then we're gonna chain three one two and three we're gonna flip our work back around which is hard for me to show you our work I'm gonna yarn over go into this first opening do a double crochet and continue doing normal double crochets all the way including our increases for two inches or two more inches according to oof, whatever your measurements are okay so here we are coming close again to where we first attached ourselves and again on this side we're gonna make another decrease go back around and continue our work so I wanted to show you how to decrease one more time so I'm flipping my work this way so maybe you can see it slightly better all right so again we're gonna want two spaces left before we do our decrease and this will count as a space since it's so large so this one and this stitch would be a space one two so this one is a normal double crochet and now the decrease so yarn over go into that first opening grab the yarn on the other side come back around we have three loops go into this second opening like so grab your yarn come back around yarn over pull through three and then yarn over pull through two we're gonna chain three one two three flipping our work around normally doing normal half um, normal double crochets along this way back around so going into this first opening yarning over going in and doing our double crochet all right so we're going to continue doing this let me show you we're going to continue doing this decrease right here on either side including the increase on this size until your dress is the width enough of the largest part of your body or where you want it to like land so keep trying this on so i'm i'm gonna go about like two more inches increasing on this side while also decreasing right here to open the slit and then i'm gonna come back and i'll show you how to do decreases instead of increases because now then we're going to want the skirt to get like nice and tight and form fitting but yeah okay. so this is the dress so far with the little slit right here and I'm just gonna try it on because <laughs> i want to show you what i mean when i say like let it reach the widest part this is like my widest parts right and after it passes here we want to start decreasing so Like imagine it's on, right? And here it just passed the lightest part. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to decrease. And we're gonna do this for as long as you like. If you want the dress to be like really long, just keep going. I'm probably gonna do mine up until like about my knee area. Well, now I'm gonna show you how to begin decreasing. So. We're going to continue doing the decrease normal as here as we were doing up here but now when we do our double crochets keep going all the way until we reach this stitch marker and i'm going to show you how to do a decrease so keeping this all as normal and we're going to decrease right here 
I've reached the stitch marker and all we're gonna wanna do to decrease is just the same as we were decreasing near the slit. So two, we're gonna need two spots, right? I'll just do it right here to make it easier. I'm gonna yarn over, push into the first opening, grab the yarn on the other side, come back, push into the next opening, grab the yarn on the other side, come back, yarn over, pull through three, and yarn over, pull through two. All right, so that's a decrease. And then continuing our normal double crochets all the way until you reach the second stitch marker. And I'll show you how to decrease one more time. Okay, so here we are at the second stitch marker. And I'm gonna show you how to decrease one more time. Just yarn over, push through the first opening, grab the yarn on the other side, come back, push through the second opening, grab the yarn on the other side, come back, then yarn over again, pull through three, yarn over, pull through two. And then we'll continue as normal. So continue this pattern all the way until the dress is your desired length, okay? All the way until it's your desired length, continuing with this slit. And then after this, I'll show you how to do the straps on the back. So I am finally back with this dress. This is the back side of what it's looking like so far. And then I'll show you what the front looks like. And then this is the front. So just to give you some measurements, let's say where your waist is, it's about 14 inches. This widest area for me, it's like right here. It's about 17, 17 and a half inches. And then the slit in total, is about eight and a half inches, okay? And then flipping it on the back, going from this back portion all the way down is a little over 17, it's about 17 inches, okay? So now we're gonna be connecting, look at the yarn I have left. I just had this much, but I'm gonna like undo this other project I have to use it for this because I want to wear this dress so badly. But we're gonna connect ourselves around here and create the straps and then use that to like strap it in the back, okay? So right here where we're doing the attachment, I'm simply just gonna like attach myself like around here just because I want a smoother transition. What we're gonna do is single crochets all the way up until we reach like about somewhere of this area. You can mark it off so both sides are even. We're gonna measure about, about seven inches up. And we're gonna place a bobby pin here because that's where we're gonna transition back. And we're gonna do slip stitches. Ooh, that didn't attach well. Around here, and we're gonna do slip stitches. So following this line, attach myself right along here. So pushing your hook through this area where we were doing the back and forthness. I don't know how to explain it, but we're going to push our hook through, grab our yarn, pull it through, and we're going to do a double knot to secure ourselves in place. So one, two, we're going to push our hook through, grab it, and chain one. And now we're going to begin doing single crochets. To do that, all you're gonna wanna do is push through an opening. I would push through the same opening we just attached ourselves to, just to keep it even. Push through, grab the yarn, come back, yarn over, and pull through, that's one. Now going into your second opening, pushing through, grabbing your yarn, yarning over, there we go. Pushing through, grab yarn, yarn over, um, there's not exactly like clear openings on where to go into like we have like Around here around here. You would go like as normal how we were doing before for the body But on this side area, there's no clear opening. So all I would say is to try to make it as even as as even as you can but Yes I'm going to continue doing these single crochets all the way until I reach the stitch marker, and I'm gonna show you how to transition it off into a slip stitch and how to do the strap. 
<laughs> two more of the single crochet so going in and I'm gonna remove this just to get out my way I'm gonna do one more okay and now we're gonna be in doing slip stitches so the same thing applies all, like in, in terms of spacing all you're gonna do is just like push through an opening come back around and pull this loop through that one like so push through another opening grab the yarn come back and slip it through so we're gonna do these slip stitches all the way until we reach the top and I'll show you how we're gonna chain it off right now look something like that here I'm reaching the top this is the top corner so I'm just gonna slip stitch until I literally reach the top right there okay and now from here we're gonna begin chaining so we're just gonna yarn over pull through yarn over pull through like that and we're gonna do this until your desired length I'm gonna do about this much I gotta measure it out as I go but if you need more or less just make sure I would say like just make more just in case because it sucks when you don't have enough and then uh, it's all it's like frustrating it's better to like undo than like try to attach and remake okay I'm gonna keep chaining and I'll come back when I'm done and give you some measurements so the strap came to a total of 67 inches and now I'm going to show you how to attach yourself on this other side so we can do the same thing for the second strap. We're going to attach ourselves first to this top V of where we first attached ourselves. This is like where we first did the single crochets. You're going to grab your yarn, hook it on, and pull your hook through. Oops. Pull your hook through. Okay, and then you're just gonna secure yourself in place with a double knot. All right, and then you're gonna go down here at where, where we like originally started the first attachment, push through, grab our yarn, and chain one. And now we're gonna go this way doing single crochets. You can weave your ends through as you go along if you want, and that is what I will do. I'm going to begin doing my single crochets. So now that we have both of the straps made, I'm going to show you some of the measurements on where we're going to attach it. Okay, so the first one, the first one is four inches down. So for me, I'm just using bobby pins as my stitch marker because I have a lot of them. but. I'm gonna measure four inches down on this side, grab a bobby pin and mark this area off. Then going based off this first one going down, that's an additional three inches down. So measuring three inches, take a bobby pin and mark the spot. And what I wanna say is like when you're marking it off, you wanna go through that border area that we just made, so through the single crochets or through the slip stitch. That's where you want to attach yourself. And then based off of this second one down here, that's two inches further down. Two inches right here. So this one plus two inches. So right here. And then the last one is going to be about three and a half inches. So right here, measuring out three and a half inches, we're gonna mark it off. All right. So then in total, you're gonna have four on each side. And I don't know, this gives some extra measurements. This is like about seven and a half, eight, and a half, eight inches right here. But, okay. I feel like I should flip this around just to make it easier on how we're going to strap it, okay? So if you're looking at the back side, you're going to have the right side right here, 
Now you can just see everything. Oh my gosh. You're gonna have the right side, looking at the back side of the just the right and the left. So starting off, I'm gonna take the right string and you're gonna take your crochet hook. I'm gonna cross this right string over to the first one on the left side. I'm gonna push my crochet hook through the slip stitch we made right here. Pushing it through with both of the lines of the V's there. Pushing it through, all you're gonna do is attach your strap and pull it through. Pull it all the way through, okay? So that's the first one. Then taking that same strap, we're gonna exit over to the right side and go to the second mark. Pushing our hook through, grabbing our strap, and pulling it through. It's a second mark, okay? And I'm taking that same strap. I'm gonna look onto the left side again and go onto the third opening, the third one right here. I'll just, um, I'll leave this here just, just in case. Like that's one, two, and this is the third one. And then finally, taking that same strap, we're gonna go to the bottom right one. And that will be how we strap up, okay? And now looking at the left side strap, I'm gonna exit over and go to the first one on the right side. Pushing the hook through. And then taking that one and going to the second one on the left side. Second one on the left side, continuing with that strap. We're gonna look, oops, it's getting a little tight. Continuing with that strap, we're gonna go onto the right side and we're gonna go to the third one. Pushing it through, pulling it through right here. And then all the way to the right side, going to the bottom one, okay? Just like that. All right, and then this is gonna be the X. This is where you're gonna put your arms through first, through these first two holes. And when you tie it off, you're gonna tie it right here. You're gonna tighten it, you know, nice and tight. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was. Clear. If you had like any questions at all, just let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to get back to you. I hope you guys had fun. If you end up remaking this dress, please tag me in a photo on Instagram or on TikTok. I, I don't know. Can you do that? Here are my handles. Doo -doo. And uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.